Hey everyone, I hope that you are doing well. It's been a couple of weeks since I've had a chance to do this with you, to wish you well in the middle of the week and just remind you that I'm praying for you and giving thanks for you. And today as I'm sharing with you, I know it's the middle of the summer and it's the middle of the year, uh, but in a lot of ways, this is a time of the year that actually reminds me personally of new beginnings. And that's for a couple reasons. Uh, one is in Methodist world, which we are obviously part of here at First Church, uh, new pastors or any pastor is appointed or reappointed the, on July 1st of every year. Uh, you may remember a few weeks ago, Pastor Janet shared that she is shifting as of June 30th. She was ending her previous role and starting July 1 in a new part-time role here at First Church. Uh, for me, what July 1 means is that I had the distinct privilege of being reappointed to First Church for another year. And so that feels like a new beginning. It especially feels like a new beginning to me this year because first of all, I am finishing year number 10 with you, which is so hard to believe. Uh, when I think about the adventures and the lives transformed and God's faithfulness and God's goodness and you, I just, I marvel and I give thanks to what God has done among us and I get excited for what is to come. So uh, officially as of July 1, I get to start this 11th year with you. And so that feels like a new beginning. It also feels like a new beginning because we're just now starting to enter into that post COVID season. And so we know that ministry is gonna look different and be different in this new time. And so that feels like a new beginning as we try to figure out together what that looks like. And it's along those lines of new beginnings that I wanna be asking for your prayers because starting this fall uh, in September, we're gonna be kicking off a new beginning together. And we're gonna give you a whole lot of information about that in the days and weeks to come. Uh, but I wanna invite you uh, to be praying about that and just to be asking that question of, Lord, what do you desire of us now in this new time and this new beginning? Uh, and specifically, one of the ways that you can be involved in a new beginning is many of you know that we have Disciples Journey here. Uh, Disciples Journey 1 is about connecting with God and each other. Disciples Journey 2 is about embrace, is about discovering our gifts, sorry. Uh, Disciples Journey 3 is about embracing our gifts. And Disciples Journey 4 is about multiplying and sharing our gifts with others and helping them come to know the Lord. Uh, right now is one of those times that we are putting the word out about Disciples Journey 1. And so if there is anyone that you know that wants to take that first step of connecting with God and First Church, could you let us know? Maybe you're one of those people. And if you are, would you reach out to us? Just let the church office know that you're interested in Disciples Journey 1 and taking that first step. Or again, if you know somebody that you could send our way or tap their shoulder, we would be so grateful. A Disciples Journey 1 is an amazing opportunity to take that first step, again, of connecting with God and connecting here at First Church. Uh, so lots of, di lots of different new beginnings at this time. As I begin my 11th year, as we enter into this post-COVID season, as we get ready to focus on Disciples Journey One and our kickoff in the fall, lots to be looking forward to. And lastly, First Church, I just want to say to you, thank you for being a different kind of church. We have talked a lot about being gathered and sent, celebrating what God is doing among us when we gather and worship on Sunday mornings, and celebrating what God is doing when we worship in homes and at gyms and any place that you can think of. And I wanna say that thanks to your model, uh, you are inspiring other churches. Uh, and I just wanna say thank you for being willing to be on the front edge of being a different kind of church in the day, the time in which we live. Uh, please know how incredibly, incredibly grateful I am for you. Um, I thank you and it, every day it is a privilege for me to serve with you, the people of First Church. Uh, so I give thanks for all that God has done and I look forward with great excitement to what God has in the store and store in the, the year ahead and the multiple years ahead. So blessings to you First Church. Uh, thank you for allowing me the privilege of journeying with you. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Take care.